What's the crack lads? Welcome to our Philip Lamb review. We're going to be showing you gameplay with two builds, a CMF slash DMF and a right back. We're going to be showing you the best stats, skills, how to train him most effectively and what he does on the pitch. Let's roll it. Alright boys, so we actually tested Philip Lamb out in two different positions, but with similar builds. A couple of tweaks here and there. I think he's definitely one of the best hybrid right backs in the game. He's got attacking, he's got defense, he's got phenomenal defensive uh, uh, stats, I should say. He's got brilliant passing, dribbling, technique on the ball, very, very nice. His player AI is good, his player ID is good. Everything about him is really, really good. And especially I like the fact that he's a possession-based right back. Uh, he just launches a lot with overlaps. His overlaps and his runs are really good. The trailer does showcase crossing and passing with this with this version of Philip Lamb. I would ignore that for the time being and use the build that I'm going to show you. And also a huge shout out to Prinz as well on the live stream yesterday with the donos. He actually donated. We spun three 900 packs for a total of 2,700 coins. Again, I wouldn't be able to get these players without the generosity and the support on the live streams. So shout out to Prince and shout out to everybody that has supported, you know, previous pack openings as well to be able to do these reviews. Because I like to sink my teeth into reviews, lads. I like to test out the players myself and see what they look like by sometimes playing them in their best position and also training them up in a slightly different way. And I definitely think that this is probably one of the best builds that you're ever going to see from Philip Lamb because there is really no weakness in his game, especially for where the game plays at. There is the pack that we got. It was, as I said, three 900 pack spins. Harry Kane and Suarez in that pack as well as Furahashi. But this is his level one stat line, okay? You've got phenomenal defensive awareness and acceleration straight off the rip. You've got him there as a 170 CM, 66 kg. You might say, why am I mentioning that? Well, it does make a difference to his physique on the pitch. And Philip Lamb handles like an attacking midfielder a lot of the time. Now, he can play DMF as well. I mentioned it at the start of the video. We did try out him in two different positions, a DMF and a right back or a left back. It depends. We did play him right back mostly as a traditional attack and full back. But you've got an attack and full back that has probably the best attack and full back slash defensive stats in the game. Look at this build that we have here. 99 defensive awareness, 95 tackling, 97 engagement, and his weakest defensive stat is going to be 92 aggression. You're going to round that up with 93 speed and acceleration, 99 stamina, and 90 tight possession. This is with Alonso or Pep Guardiola as the new 88 proficiency managers. But it's a phenomenal card. There's no weakness in this card, especially when you're taking into consideration his physique, his player ID, and the way the gameplay is at the moment, his player AI. This is how we train him. Now, I would make a couple of changes here if you are going to train him as a DMF, but I think this is the best hybrid right back. Four into dribbling and dex, 12 into lower body, and 15 into defending. That is going to get you this build with Alonso or Pep. If you're looking to switch it up a slight bit, you could take two out of defending to max that defending stat or that upgrade to 13 and pop it into passing. I know a lot of people still get confused with the passing and having it over 85. 80 is more than enough for a lofted pass for a right back because you're going to be just all about kind of like small, short passes. But it is his overlaps, man. We're playing him here as a right, uh, as a DMF. And this is where his positioning usually would be, where Trent is on the ball. I feel like him and Trent are super similar, very similar. The thing I would say about Trent is that he doesn't feel, he's just a slightly bit clunkier on the ball. He's still phenomenal. Still probably one of the best fullbacks in the game. As I said, I'm in a very lucky position as a content creator to be able to test out all of these players. If you have Trent, it does beg the question, is he worth spinning for? Or if you have a defensive right back and you want to have a left back that can do the business for you, Philip Lamb gives you that opportunity as well. So it's a very nice card to have, but it depends on your other squad members. Again, you do look at Philip Lamb's stats up to with Trent and also with Bergomi. And he's kind of like a hybrid. He's got the defensiveness and the speed of both of these players, except that he doesn't have the physical, uh, you know, the physical prowess, so to speak. We also would advise throw in on blocker double touch area superiority. And we also, I think, will need to have a little bit more of a different play style with him. He's all about kind of tight dribbling, tight possessions, overlaps if you're playing him right back. While still having those defensive stats, you need to keep an eye on him because he does bombard forward. But this is a great highlight of him when you're chasing a game. Yes, there is weaknesses with the game at the moment and the game mechanics, but you can kind of, it's all about, it's all about at the moment conserving possession and not getting caught in the counter and chance creation and also recycling possession. That when you get on the ball, if you are able to control the possession 
you can, you know, get really nice chances. I think whatever you're playing now is going to determine how good you are going to be with the next big gameplay patch that comes. Because I think it will come and it will come and I think it will change up the meta quite a bit. Because I think at the moment, I think, you know, I think the gameplay at the moment is definitely more on the aggressive AI side of it. I think that will change. But yeah, he's a phenomenal card. It's a very, very good card. I think that he definitely is one of the best right backs in the game, one of the best left backs in the game, one of the best hybrid backs in the game insane defensive stats is he worth spinning that's up to you guys let me know if you did actually spin for him or if you skipped him if you have trent or somebody like that it's probably not worth it don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you in a bit